Welcome neighbors to another uh, look at some fine whiskey. Uh, today I want to look at some Canadian whiskey. We're here outside so I can catch a bit of a uh, bit of sunshine in my my front yard and I'm going to look at uh, Wayne Gretzky red cask and the Wayne Gretzky 99 ice cask. So after break I'll get into these two new Canadian whiskeys. <music> All right, well, thanks for joining me. Um, we've been in a cold snap for about a week or so here in Edmonton area. And uh, and as soon as the temperature hit, I don't know what, minus five, minus eight, something like that, I thought, oh, this is gorgeous, gotta get outside. Um, so that's why we're shooting out here. I thought it was also quite appropriate as I look at uh, some Canadian whiskey to be outside where you can see snow and whatnot. Um, I wanna look at uh, these newer, whiskeys from uh, the Wayne Gretzky distillery, winery and distillery. Um, I'm not a big wine fellow, so I don't really know all that much about uh, the Wayne Gretzky wine offerings. Uh, I've seen them around for a while, right? I'm sure I've had some, uh, but I really couldn't comment. But then when uh, they decided to get into whiskey, of course, now it's, uh, now it's interesting, right? So I know that the distillery has actually put a lot of work into their uh, distillery and into releasing these whiskeys. I think some of the reviews online are are pretty quick uh, to look at this product and it's a fairly young young whiskey um, and and maybe conclude pretty quickly about its quality and I, I just want to say that um, from what I've read you know they've taken their time building a good distillery. I know they've invested in their master uh, distiller Told myself I'd know his name. If you uh, follow me, you know, names are tough for me, but I think it was Joshua Beach. I know he's trained in Scotland. Uh, he's worked in England. Uh, then he started a, a distillery of his own, but I haven't found out which one it was out uh, in Vancouver until he was um, obviously asked to join um, the wet Wayne Gretzky Winery and Distillery Group to help them put out some whiskey. Um, so this uh, first one we're going to look at is Red Cask. Uh, it's bottled, I think, at 40. Yeah. It's bottled at 40%. Um, it's a mix of corn and rye for sure. I think it's malted and unmalted rye, I think. Um, I think that's it. And, uh, you know, it's aged uh, in ex-bourbon and then it's finished in their own red wine casks. So, uh, well, these have been sitting out here a little, little while while I set up. So now they've gotten cold on me, which will restrict some of the nose. So some of this will be my memory of how I've been tasting these in the last little while, but I like to try to express what I'm tasting in the moment. Yeah, and I can tell the nose has, has contracted a little bit, and so I should have shot quicker. But, you know, right away on the nose, you're going to get um, some red fruits, right? Some red grapes. The, 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 the use of finishing in red wine is quite strong. But it's still a whiskey. You can still catch some oak. Boy, aside from that nose sweetness, the oak and, and fruits, kind of a darker fruit, not much else. Um, there is a little bit of a quality in this nose, and I've said this before about uh, Wayne Gretzky 99 Red Cask, is that there's a, there's a waxy characteristic even in the nose. Someone once described it as, as wax crayons, and I think that wasn't very nice. Uh, but it's stuck in my head ever since I've heard that. And so now I can catch that. But really, it's, it's not as bad as that description. But there's a note to it. Hmm. A little bit of, oh, maybe it's just nose and then nose. All right, so then going over to the ice cask. So uh, the Wayne Gretzky ice cask, uh, you can see here, is um, very similar heritage. It's going to be a corn, rye, and malted rye. Um, it's bottled at 41 and a half, not a lot more. I would have expected as they stepped up to go to 43, um, but 41 and a half. And, uh, and then instead of finishing in red wine, 
um, they've finished in their ice cask. Now ice casks uh, are usually very sweet and can have a dramatic effect on whiskey. Um, so let's see if I can pick it up in the nose with all this ice on it. Ah, uh, boy. Have to spend a little more. You know, I'd expect like a sharper or stronger fruit um, because of that sweetness from ice cast, but I don't get that with this nose. But I am able to get more at the toffee. Um, maybe a little bit of chocolate. I've read that though more than smelled it. But toffee I can get for sure on this one. And, and that wax quality is um, subdued. So definitely, um, if that puts you off on the red cask, um, there's less of that in the ice cask. Ah, boy, it's a nice day. All right, well, we'll give it a quick taste. Um, so coming back to the red cask, that's um, their entrance level now. I guess they've put out three. I've only ever had these two. Um, I know they have another one, a third one, a 99 proof or something like that. Yeah, yeah, very red grape. <laughs> Give it a taste. Hmm. When you first um, have a sip of this whiskey, um, it really does explode with that fruit flavor. Um, and the mouthfeel is pretty good in this one. It's, it's fairly creamy coating. A uh, little bit of rye spice, not as much as I'd like in a Canadian whiskey, uh, but it's there. So you got a little bit of that. Mm. So the red cask, quite sweet, uh, fruity. Um, finish is not its strong point. I would actually say it's the weakest part of this whiskey. Um, maybe that's because it's young, tastes young, a little bit of alcohol. Um, the finish, for sure, wood tannins come out. Uh, but unfortunately, even though I like the bitterness from rye, uh, this is more bitterness from, from the oak they used, the wood, uh, or, or maybe there hasn't been enough subtractive time in cask to get rid of it. Uh, there's, a fair, there's a fair bitterness in the taste. Now, it could also be here, because um, I'm thinking, I don't think I've said it that strongly before. Maybe the ice has brought that out a little bit. Um, but anyways, uh, so nose is okay. Taste is very fruity, and I think a lot of people, it's fairly smooth. People would, would like that and be attracted to it. Um, moving on to the ice cask. This is 41 and a half, finished in ice cask. Yeah, it's a richer nose, but, but not necessarily richer in the fruits, which you'd expect from the ice cask. Just rich, richer in the sense of the caramels are nicer, toffees around. Yeah, I like the nose better. Subtle though, it's still the it's still in the family. You'd pick it out as the family. Hmm. Hmm. Well, uh, that's just better all around. Uh, here, the fruits uh, are definitely uh, stronger, but but leaning now towards pear, maybe pineapple. Um, not quite that strong, but a little bit of that. Uh, the spice of the rye already picks up more in the mouth. I don't have to wait around for the finish. Um, and there is a finish this time. Hmm. But today, again, perhaps because I'm sitting in the cold. Well, not because I'm sitting in the cold. Perhaps because I've let those um, couple of glasses sit in the cold for a little bit. Um, there's still a little bit of bitterness that... Well, this one's, at least the sweetness is still hanging around a bit. And so that's okay. You know, if you've got a little bit of bitterness in, in uh, from, from rye or maybe from the casking, but there's still, you know, this one really doesn't have a lot of smoke or char, but that's another way to balance that. Or, or sweetness. Sweetness is a good way to cut that as well. Create a good, good experience. Um, I would say the ice cask has just a little more sweetness carrying through. Um, so... You know, I really feel they've put a lot of work hiring a fellow uh, like Joshua Beach uh, and, and building a good distillery. And, and I expect even better things from their next releases. Um, I think this is, this is a distillery um, that actually for a first release, uh, I've certainly um, 
tasted harsher, harder first releases than this. So the red cask for me doesn't get as, as beat up as, as some probably better reviewers. Um, I actually, actually kind of like this. Um, the, the nose is okay. The taste is very fruity, uh, very easy to drink, very easy to share. Um, I often try this in different cocktails or, or my own kind of whiskey blends um, because I like the mouthfeel of this one a lot. Um, but it does have a waxy quality and the finish is very um, short and what is there, there's, it's kind of bitter. So maybe, maybe three stars. Um, but you know, what a nice bottle, what a nice first release. Like, I think I want to I want to give them a, a kudos for for putting that out, and uh, and then same here too. Um, this ice cask, oh, I should talk about value. You know, uh, this is now sit on the shelves for about forty bucks a Canadian, the red cask, and um, I'm just not sure it's worth forty. That's a fair amount to pay, but I know they put a lot of work in it. Um, I always get this on sale, about thirty bucks. It's worth thirty bucks. Um, this ice cask is is quite a bit more money it's almost twice as much where i am right now uh because it sits around 60 bucks now i i think this one we got for about 50 um but it doesn't go on sale as much as the red cask i think it's a little more limited production it's a better whiskey though um it it has more right right from the nose the nose is a little more restrained in terms of its peaks but there's more going on uh definitely can smell more of the depth of that whiskey uh, Today, really all I had was toffee, caramel, um, those kinds of notes, toasted sugar. I've heard other people talk more about chocolate than I picked up today, but it could be that I've iced it down here. Um, and certainly the uh, the palate is a, is not necessarily more alive. This one's pretty spicy in the mouth. Well, not spicy, but it's, it's there. Um, but I, I was able to taste more of what's going on while I had the ice cask. Uh, in the mouth and then its finish is also just a little bit better a little more of the sweetness stays with us uh, and the bitterness uh, is restrained now that that would speak more to length of uh of casking not type of casking so um uh, i guess the the pineapple and pear that i tasted in this i guess would speak to the sweetness uh of the spirit that, that i mean the wine that they had the ice wine that's a very sweet wine um, so I think maybe that, that level of sweetness is what um, I'm picking up in this one. So anyways, um, here we are. Thanks for joining me on this actually quite beautiful uh, winter afternoon uh, here just on the outside of Edmonton, uh, reviewing a couple of, of, I think, solid Canadian whiskeys. So like, if I give this one three stars, um, I have to give this more. So this is three and a half. Um, I want to give it more. Uh, you know, I do respect uh, how hard it is to start a distillery. I've been to a couple of startups and, and I think it's really tough. Um, but maybe their next offering will be just just a, just another notch up and they'll keep ratcheting up the whiskey. But I don't think you'd be disappointed with either one of these. I think they are, are a good representation of Canadian whiskey with a fair amount of corn in there, a little bit of rye going on. Um, both of them, of course, are very fruit forward uh, because of the finishings they've chosen, red, red wine cask or ice cask. Um, but, uh, but I think they're worth a try. I really do. I, I think, um, even just to have a conversation with someone, I, I think it would be in Canada about Canadian whiskey. I think it's important to, uh, to have a, a sense of, uh, of what this whiskey whiskey is like. Well, thanks for joining me. I'm John, Whiskey Neighbor, and I appreciate you coming out on this fine winter day. Um, and, uh, wherever you are, I hope you have a nice glass of something and you're enjoying it responsibly. Like, subscribe, give me a comment. Um, take care.